it's me, Stacy. Here's Scrapbooking Made Simple with YouTube number 90. Now, apparently, I skipped YouTube number 88, so we are just going to consider that the lost episode. <laughs> Maybe, maybe uh, a year from now I will go back and do YouTube number 88 and, and show everybody and do, well, maybe we'll do something comical and make it funny, the lost episode. So if you've been looking for YouTube 88, don't look any further. I, I, in my opening, must have not realized what YouTube we are, we were on, and I just totally skipped it. So we're going to pretend that it didn't happen, and we're going to go to YouTube number 90. That's what we're on right now, YouTube number 90. Woo! <laughs> we are back from the CHA show. We had an amazing time. The manufacturers were so generous with us. We are going to continue all of our giveaways with our YouTubes. We hope you enjoyed it. If you watched Facebook and you followed all 25 of my live from CHA, I had a good time doing them, but it was a lot. Oh my gosh and they were wheeling me around in a wheelchair, so it was from one place to the other. They would wheel me, I'd stand, talk to the manufacturers, do my appointment, and then do my live from CHA, and God bless those manufacturers. They really just support the independent little mom and pop store like me and gave us some wonderful prizes. Now, those were all posted on Facebook, and I know many of you have asked, can't you post them on YouTube? I, I, I wanna answer that, but I'm not exactly sure how. We're trying to keep the YouTube channel mainly for the mini classes so it doesn't get overwhelming and convoluted. If there's a way to keep them separated, I will figure out how to post not only on Facebook, the Facebook features, but on YouTube as well. But until I know how to do that, I really just want to keep the mini classes on the YouTube channel so it doesn't get confusing for everybody. Now, I understand there's a way to do it, and I'm sure when I talk to my 12-year-old son, he will tell me exactly how to do it as he rolls his eyes at me going, oh, it's so simple, Mom. <laughs> He's going to be 13 in a few months. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what's coming at me? I'm not looking forward to it. I got the, oh, mom, it's just so, so easy. It's like, okay, just take pity on your mom and show us how. <laughs> so if we can figure it out, I will figure it out and we'll get that done for you. So that Facebook features are also on YouTube because I know several of you don't Facebook or your flash player doesn't, um, you can see Facebook, but you can't run the videos, or you have an iPad and they're not letting you run the videos. And that's a shame because yesterday we put out a promotion to beat all promotions. I was on a phone call with Zyron two days ago on our post CHA follow-up, and I was able to negotiate a deal for product. Now, when you think of Zyron, you think of adhesives, you think of tape runners, you think of sticker makers, but a couple years ago, not even a couple years ago, I don't think, Zyron put together a collection with spellbinders of dyes. So Zyron contacted spellbinders and said, we have these designs and we want you to make these dyes for us. Very much like Heartfelt Creations has um, spellbinders make their dyes. So Zyron had spellbinders make a collection of 12 dyes and I was able to negotiate a price for those 12 dies that is unbelievable. I mean, and the 12 dies are all like nestabilities. So you're not getting one die, you're getting up to five dies per set times 12. I mean, it's an incredible deal. Retail value is almost $300 and we posted last night on Facebook that we have it for $29.99. Not for one die, no, not for two dies, all 12 dies, $29.99. Oh my gosh, the, the the web store went off the hook last night. I was worried it was gonna crash. Please don't crash, please don't crash, because we crashed that poor lady's website from CHA when I did her little car with her dies and her stamps at the at my, my lunch table. So I'm like, please don't crash. So I didn't sleep much last night worrying that the website was gonna crash because the deal is so good. Now, if you were on Facebook, you probably already bought yours. But if you weren't, this might be the first time you're hearing about it. And it is like 8 o'clock in the morning here, and there's only 400 sets left. And by the time you see this, I don't even know if there'll be any sets left at all. So put me on pause. I get it. Go run to the computer. $29.99, 12 sets of dies. Get it for Christmas. Get it for Mother's Day. Get it for birthdays. Give away the sets you don't like. For that price, it's like buying one, getting 11 free. Put me on pause, but don't forget to come back and take me off pause and finish watching this YouTube. <laughs> I don't want to be stuck in some weird position. <laughs> you know, paused, you know, or showing you something. I don't, I don't want to be stuck in some freaky position. <laughs> so come back and get me off pause. Um, you know, like the commercial, the commercial where the boy's on the, 
on the um, diving board and his mom is, took a picture of him but never took the pictures off the camera and his like in some you know diving position mom can you take me off the camera can you download the images so come back and get me if you have to I won't mind if you put me on pause because this deal is too good to pass up okay that's my pause position <laughs> you've come back now and I have got winner winner chicken dinner because we did Elizabeth crafts before we left for CHA and those dies are shipping to us really soon really soon and I want to announce some winners so if you are Sherry Wilson woo Sherry if you are Emily oh Bijou ah B-I-G-I-O. Emily, you'll love me because you won. Don't be mad because I couldn't pronounce it. So, Emily, I'm going with Biggio, but I could be completely off. B-I-G-I-O. And Stacy, hello, Stacy. What an excellent name. <laughs> if you are Stacy, oh, this is going to be good too. Peria, P-E-R-E. I R A. Stacy, if it's you, all three of you have one product from Els and uh, Elizabeth Crafts and Karen Bernston, the new, some of the new dyes that Karen and Els have just brought out that were magnificent. Oh my gosh, they were so good. I'm excited for you. Congratulations. Now, what are you going to do to get those prizes? You are going to email Naomi at asksms at earthlink.net. You are going to say, hey Naomi, I am YouTube winner from YouTube number 90 and I won L's and Elizabeth Crafts and Karen Bernstein product. I mean, those dyes were phenomenal, weren't they? Karen is just an absolute genius. I think she has an engineering background and you can totally see it in the product she puts out. They're smart. Oh my gosh, they're so smart. So you have one, email her. Please know, after CHA, Naomi had a lot of winners. We had over 50 winners from CHA. So she's got a lot of prizes to ship out. It may take a few weeks for these to get to you. I promise we didn't forget about you. Just give Naomi a little bit of time because we're also shipping regular orders and trying to get all the prizes sorted. But you will get yours and yay for you, Stacy and Sherry and Emily. Are you doing a happy dance? Woo woo, woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day we should all just stand up and do a happy dance like Ellen. <laughs> okay, so what do we have for you today? We have hot off the press. And I want you to know that I read all of your comments when you post on Facebook. I really do. I may not post all of them, but I do read all of your comments. And I know several of you have asked us to please start showing scrapbooking samples and as opposed to just card samples. And I wanna say that we show the card samples because it's easy on camera for me, but I hear you, there, I, I do hear you. So we're going to do our very best to start showing in some of the YouTubes samples with the product and put into layouts for you so you can see how that product would translate into a scrapbook page versus a card. We'll still have all of our cards, but we're gonna try and have some layouts for you. And on this YouTube, I do, I have two layouts for you. Now it took Mary Lynn four hours to get one of these layouts done. Four hours. <laughs> <laughs> but I am told that I need to be patient and I need to let the creative juices flow and I just can't have, she, she just can't sit down and create a page from like that. And I'm like, well, why not? <laughs> and I guess, I guess she said no. And it took four hours. Now the second page she did only took an hour. So I guess the juices were flowing by then, which, woo! Because <laughs> I said, Mary Lynn, you've got to finish. We have to have them for the YouTube. But she did a beautiful job. And you will see how the product we are using today will translate into scrapbooking. Because the product we're using today from Hot Off The Press is called Artful Card Kits. And if you're a scrapbooker, you just might walk right on by them just because of the name, Artful Card Kits. But wait till you see the layouts we did with them. Oh, they're beautiful. And in, since everything's coordinated together for you, it is so simple. So I am gonna get started for today. I can't remember if I forgot anything, but if I did, I'll come back and I'll mention it later. But we're gonna get started for today. All right, everybody, down we go. All right, so there we have it. Okay, Artful Card Kits, let me pull one up. The one we are using today, sorry about that, should have had it handy. The one we're using today is called Ooh La La, and this is an Artful Card Kit from Hot Off The Press. Now they've had these for a while, the Ooh La La that we're using today and the 
Butterfly Gardens was their CHA release and we have them early. We got them in before CHA and did a make and take with them. What I really like about Hot Off The Press product is they always show you samples of what you can do with the product that comes inside the package. It's really awesome. If you turn it around, I'm trying to get a glare, not a glare, you'll see, you can see all the papers, all the die cuts that come with it, and then you can see actual samples that they did, which is really nice because if you don't have a creative flow sometimes, seeing samples will help that along. Now with Mary Lynn, it took four hours <laughs> to help that along. <laughs> She's gonna harm me when she gets here. <laughs> <laughs> but looking at the samples, you may like a sample well enough just to copy it. Why reinvent the wheel? Or you can take pieces of it and then incorporate in other things from the kit to make it yours. I really appreciate the fact that they add the samples. I have to say for packaging, Hot Off The Press is probably one of the best in the industry. They get it. They show you what's in it, they show you how to use it, and you can't ask for much more. But again, this is an artful card kit, and if you're a scrapbooker, you might not know how to incorporate this into your scrapbook layouts, and I'll show you some samples of that in a little bit. Now, inside the package, inside the package, I want to show you what you get. So, you get paper, and then on the other side is sentiments. Now these you have to cut out yourself. These are not die cut out for you. And you just separate the two, the paper from, you just separate the two and now you've got a piece of paper to work with and you've got sentiments to work with. I like the fact that they've left some blank and have given you words on some. That way if you've got peel offs or stamps and you want to stamp your own sentiment, you've got places to do it and it still coordinates with everything that came in the kit. You get, so Mary Lynn was, was saying, Stacy, I'm almost out of paper. And I'm like, Mary Lynn, how can you almost be out of paper? You've only done one layout. Well, she had a sheet laying like this. And she thought that this was like the, 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 the cardboard that would come in the back of it just to give it stability. She didn't open it up and see that there was more paper. And you just have to separate them out and they're ready to go. So you get lots of paper, lots of different sheets to play with. And again, they're all die cut and perforated. You just have to separate them. But if you see blank white, open it up. There might be something on the inside. <laughs> you also get from them, let me move some of the paper over. You also get from them sheets of die cuts. Now these are already um, die cut out, all you have to do is punch them out. You get sayings and you get borders and you get medallions and I mean super cute. You get little flowers that you can layer on top of each other. You, you get a ton of them. This is a ton of die cuts and again they pop right on out. You don't have to fussy cut these at all. That's a lot of product in that kit. And the kit retails for $9.99, but of course we'll have it on sale on a YouTube Yummy. I wanna show you what you can do with some of this stuff. Now, because all the paper is coordinated, everything layers on top of each other. Everything works well together. And you don't have to be a die cutter. You don't have to have a die cut machine. You don't have to have embossing machines to do any of this. This is projects that are great for the beginning scrapbooker. They're great for people who are card making that don't have a lot of time to sit and fuss. They just need to get some stuff done for um, even, even the advanced scrapbooker because you get so much product that you can then become creative with. It's great working with kids, with seniors with this because everything is included in the kit. It's all self-contained. You don't have to go out and buy anything else except for card bases if you're going to make cards. That's the only thing you'd have to go out and buy yourself. I mean, everything else is right there for you for that price. Now, you do wanna have a trimmer. So I have my trimmer, mine's a Westcott, it has a, boy is it dirty, it has a trimming blade and it has a scoring blade all on the same. Um, I like the Westcott, everybody has their own trimmer, it's whatever makes you happy, but you are going to want it to have a trimmer handy so you can trim down the paper. The paper is eight and a half by 11, 
So it is good for cutting and uh, into fours and that would make the face of your basic A2 card. So you could get four out of one sheet of paper on your A2 cards. But if you're doing bigger cards, then you just cut to the size you need. But they've given you a lot of paper choices. Now, when we're doing this, we use Sukwang tape. A lot of people use tape runners. Um, that's fine if that's what you have and you love. I use my Sukwang tape. And the reason I use my Sukwang tape is because it's economical. 77 feet of Sukwang tape for um, the eighth of an inch, I think, is as low as $4. And you could use eighth of an inch around here as opposed to a tape runner. I know a lot of you are used to doing this, and that's fine if that's what you have. But if you're trying to find a way to save money, go with the Sukwang tape. It really does just cost a, a whole lot less because you get a whole lot more. Now, the Sukwang tape is double stick adhesive, and I can tear it. I don't have to cut it. So I can just put it right there. And I can put another piece right there. And you can see I'm not necessarily going all the way down and all the way over. I could put another piece here and then one up there. You could just do the corners if you wanted. This tape is strong enough to be able to hold everything. And then when you're ready to put it down, you're just going to peel the top piece off and expose your double sticky. What I will tell you about Sukwang tape, it is very non-forgiving. Be sure when you make your placement, when you say, okay, this is it, that's where I want it, be sure that's where you want it because pulling it back up is not going to happen. It really isn't. It, it is strong, strong tape. But let's say I've put my, my paper down. Now what do I want to do? Well, they've given you so many options. I've got, I could make another matting paper, go right on top. Then you've got all of your little die cuts to do. And how cute are they to pop off? I just pushed it right out of, let's see, let me grab this one. I just popped it right on out. Easy, not hard at all. Anybody with arthritis, anybody with hand problems is not gonna have trouble doing this. And what a great way to spend the afternoon um, with the grandkids. You know, grandparents and grandkids and moms and dads working on the cards or making scrapbook pages. It's because it's so user friendly, anybody can do it. This doesn't this doesn't have to be a big a big production of taking everything out and setting everything up. You literally just open the kit, get some adhesive, get some paper or a background paper for your layout or some cards and go have fun. This is an easy way to have a really enjoyable afternoon. I could pop that right down there or put it across. And then I could take one of my sentiments and put that on there. And I mean, literally as easy as one, two, three, I've got a card that's ready to go. Now I would go ahead, me personally, I would go ahead and I would use my sukwang tape on my background, my back piece here, and I would add some sukwang tape to here and mat that there. But then when you get into the embellishments, that's when you want to have some fun. And for that, I would use pop dots. I would go ahead and add some layers to, you know, some height to this and add some pop dots. And I've got the candy fix dots. These are meant for those little tiny round discs that they sell, but we use them for everything. They, you get 440 of those little tiny squares for $1.99. I mean, that's a deal. That is a deal. And yeah, they'll be on a YouTube Yummy as well. But it, there's 440 squares here. And because they're small, they can go under some of the smaller little embellishments without showing. Some of the little die cuts that are small. These will fit under there nicely so you can pop them up, but you won't see them. So that's why I like the size. You can always add more of them if you need to, but when you need to only have one or two because the item is small, then this is what you want. So I like to just put them down, kind of all over, pop the 
take my little tweezers and get the top piece off and I'm using my fussy tweezers from Elizabeth Crafts just pull that top piece off and I might go ahead and put some in the center and then maybe a couple on the outside and then I would just go ahead and I would lay it right down and what that's going to do is it's going to add dimension to your card or your layout. It's going to pop this off the page so it's got more of a 3D effect and not everything is so flat. That's important. You want to add some dimension to it. Let's see. I guess I can go ahead and put it down. Add some dimension to it. And you can see the, the dots are small enough that you're not going to see them coming out the side, but it adds the dimension to the card. And that always helps. It, it gives you a better um, a better look, a better layering look. Nobody's ever going to believe you made these cards yourself. Honest to goodness, they look so good when they're done. It looks like they look like five dollar cards. They're so beautiful because of all the things they give you. Now, I have my little my little sentiment here, and I did have to fussy cut that out. Let's see if I can find it over here. It's this page right here. I did have to fussy cut that out with a pair of scissors and it was no big deal easy to do they are not die cut out for you but like I said earlier it's really nice that they give you blank ones because then you can put your own sentiment in the kids can put their, their own word in that they want to or if you have a stamp set or peel offs you're not stuck with whatever is that they've given you I like that, that you have options so I took this one and I want to put it right here. Now I could do a couple things. I could put pop dots on the back, I could put sook wing on the back, but I could also use my Xyron machine. This is a Xyron machine and for those of you who watched the Facebook features live from CHA, you know I went to Xyron and I asked you, what do you think? Do you love it? Do you not love it? Give me your opinion. Well, a lot of you said, I've never heard of that company or I have no idea what that is. So I want to tell you a little bit about Xyron. Now, remember, Xyron also worked with Spellbinders on the dies, but what they're really known for is their adhesives. This is a sticker maker. This is the Teresa Collins version, and it's pink, and it's got a little hound's tooth on it. It's very cute. But what it does is it allows you to put a piece of paper in there, and then you roll it through and you go like that press down on it kind of burnish it you know if we were using our Elizabeth Crafts glitter you would kind of burnish it with your finger and then you'd peel this top piece off I can't there we go peel the top piece off and what you're left with is a sticker. It's ready to go. It's a sticker. Ready to be put right down on there. And it's good. It's done. The little X makes stickers. Now it is about one and a half inches wide so the biggest item you're going to get through there is about one and a half inches but when you're using small little die cuts this is a great a great tool. Normally, if we had the die ourselves and we owned the Sizzix die or the Spellbinder die or the Xyron die, you know I would go ahead and I would take my paper and I would use my larger Sukwang tape, put my paper on my larger Sukwang tape and then die cut out the shape and and it would make a sticker. But when you're using product like this where the shapes are already cut for you, where you don't have a die to cut it yourself and you need to make it a sticker putting it on the soup wang tape is not the easiest way to go because then you're going to have to fussy cut it out of the soup wang tape and it gets your stickers or your scissors a little bit of gum so the Xyron, ooh, the Xyron makes it very very handy and again all I did was put my oh, too wide, let's see, all I did was put my little die in there, my die cut in there that I cut out, facing up, and I'm going to roll it through and then tear it off. Now if I'm not ready to use it, I can leave it just like this. As long as this covering is on it, 
Leave it. You can come back to it later. You could leave it like this for a year and come back to it, and it still will be a sticker. But if I am ready to use it, I'm going to burnish it with my finger. Some people can you I guess you can use the back of your scissors. It's kind of whatever makes you happy. I'm good with my finger. And then I'm going to pull that clear off. And this is now ready to be a sticker. It's very handy. It's very convenient. They do make a larger size. They make a couple sizes. This is the one and a half. We're also going to have the five inch size. And they do, what's nice, have refills that are permanent and uh, repositionable. So for those of you who can't commit, <laughs> the repositionable is perfect because then you could lay it down and no, that isn't exactly where I want it and peel it up and put it someplace else. For, so for those of you who, are, who, who can't commit, then the repositionable is great and the refills just slide right in and right out. So for those of you who have never seen a Xyron machine before, this is the X. It's probably the most common size out there and, and this is your introduction to it. It is a sticker maker. It takes anything that you want to make a sticker out of and, and helps. You can even stick some ribbon in there. You can stick ribbon in there and pull and put, um, put adhesive on the back of your ribbon. We like our Sukwang tape to do that, but if this is what you got, yes, it will work. We'll have, um, we haven't carried them online before, the, the larger machines and the, the refills, but we are going to carry them and we're working with Xyron to get bundle pricing. So maybe buy three, get the fourth free, something along that deal so that it's economical, that it makes sense for you to, to invest into this product. But for those of you who were watching Facebook and weren't sure what to do with it, that I wanted to tell you a little bit about Xyron. Now back to hot off the press. So now I've taken that and I've made one card. Easy peasy. But maybe I want to do something a little bit different. Because everything coordinates, I could get rid of that. I could put this down. Now this is a border sheet. So in essence, it is this sheet right here. I could use this as a solid piece of paper like I've done here, or I could cut borders off of it and use those separately. I've used a piece all on its own. And I would put that right on there, and I would put, again, all of this down with my Sukwang tape, anything from an eighth of an inch to about a half an inch. I wouldn't go much bigger than a half an inch um, to work with cards in your scrapbooks. Yes, you can use it on your scrapbooks, absolutely. Yes, it, it, it's not going to harm your paper, it's not going to harm your pictures, it is the most awesome tape ever. So I've got that there, then all I need to do is pick another embellishment. I could layer this here. And then I could take, oh, I could take this one here and put that right on top. And I could, I could, now this one has actually two embellishments. I could pop that center out if I wanted to have a frame and then use this for something else, or I can keep them together. In fact, let's just put some of the candy fixed dots right on here real quick, just so I can layer it on there. Oh, maybe I don't want to do that because I want to show you the Eiffel Tower too. So we're playing here. And then take my sticker and layer it right on top. And again, I've got another card ready to go. It just is that simple. Oh, see, this is the permanent. That's not going to come up as easy. It really is simple. But let's say you wanted to add some of your own. Let's say you wanted to put some of your own um, creativity in it. Well, it's easy to do. Grab your stickles. If you don't know what stickles is, stickles is a glitter glue. And what's important to know about stickles is that the color of this is in the glitter. The liquid in here is clear. The color comes from the actual glitter. Ooh, ah, isn't that beautiful? Now, so the, the liquid in here is completely clear and it dries clear. The color is derived from the glitter that's put in there. So if you use a light color, 
a light color. They have diamond and crystal and icicle, which are all whites with beautiful different shades of glitter in there. But if you use a lighter color and smear it, you can't tell that it's blue anymore. And sometimes you got to use what you've got. And so if you want to go in and decorate on top of this, you can go in there and add some stickles right onto the die cut and then kind of use your hand and smear it and absolutely nobody's going to know that this started out as blue stickles because the liquid is dry and now you've added some bling. You can go in there and decorate on top of all of this. I could go in there right on top of my little flowers and just put little dots of stickles. Stickles is a great inexpensive way to add a little bit of oomph to any of your projects. It's a Ranger product. It's a glitter glue. So yes, it will. It if you needed to use it as an adhesive, you absolutely could. But I just put a little bit of glitter onto my flowers. A little bit of glitter here. The thinner you put your stickles layer, the faster it will dry. The heavier you put it, the longer it will dry. But this allows you to embellish a little bit more with perhaps product that you've already got in your arsenal. I also want to tell you that Glossy Accents is a other great, really, really great product to use to help things pop a little bit more. Glossy Accents is a three-dimensional clear liquid that when it dries, it adds an epoxy look to things. So you could go in, let's see, let's take the little balloon. I've got the little balloon die cut. You could go in and take your glossy accents and go right over your balloon. And when it dries, it's going to leave a glossy raised effect, almost like you created your own epoxy sticker. Can you see that on there? Can, I'm trying to get a glare. Actually, for once, I'm trying to get a glare. It doesn't change the paper. It just adds a three-dimensional look to the paper. And you can use stickles or glossy accents on anything, on metals, on woods, on paper, on chipboard, on die cuts, everything. And it's an inexpensive way to add some more dimension to your project. I mean, it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So now if I was to take this and pull this one off, I could then take my Eiffel Tower that comes in the Ooh La La set and put my Eiffel Tower there. And then take a sentiment and put a sentiment here. And again, another card is done just that fast. And if you want to add more to it, you do. You take your glossy accents, you take your stickles, take your glitter pins, whatever you've got, go in there and play. But the Artful Card Kits allow you to be successful from the get-go. It's made to help you be creative. It's made to, to have you finish a project and go, wow, I did that Yes, you did, you did that, <laughs> yay! <laughs> and just so you know, the Artful Card Kits, if you are a card maker, will make easily 15 cards without even blinking an eye. Easily you can get 15 cards out of it. If you are smart with your paper, no problem. I mean, it is just amazing how many you can get. And think about that, if it's $9.99 and you're getting 15 cards that look like $5 cards, those cards are costing you almost nothing to make. Then you bundle five of them in a package and you give them to somebody as a gift for them to use uh, for birthday cards or, or uh, thank you cards. It's such a nice gift to give when you give somebody handmade cards that they then can use when giving a gift or saying thank you or sending a sympathy. How cute is that? And again, if I wanted to bling it up, all I have to do, I could take a little bit of my, my stickles. I don't like that one. I wasn't crazy about the green, sorry. Put a little bit on there and just smear it. Take your finger and just smear it a little bit. And all that's going to do is add a little bit of bling on my corners. And because it's so thin, 
it's going to dry relatively fast. The thicker you put the stickles or the glossy accent, the longer it will take. So now, now you've no, you can't tell that what's on there is this color. Take a light color if you've got it. You don't have to necessarily have the icicle or the diamond or um, the stardust. If you've got a light color, you can take it and use it as well, and it does the same effect. Super cute, easy to do. And again, you've got another card ready to go. And I just love that the Xyron allows you to make your stickers for some of your smaller embellishments like that. Like that little heart, remember that little heart I showed you earlier? I would put maybe three or four of them in here all at the same time because you can line them up. In fact, I'm gonna pop out a couple. So I'm gonna pop out another little heart and I'm gonna pop out another a little flower. And I have put one heart in there. I've put a little flower in there and I put another little heart in there. And now I'm gonna pull. What did I put them in? Yeah, no, now I'm gonna pull. So I did three at a time. You don't have to do one. If you've got long things that are narrow, line them up. Line them up. Maybe I use this heart right now, but I just leave those on there because you don't want to waste your tape. You want to get as much out of your tape as possible. And you burnish them, peel it off, And if I just wanted to use one, I'm just gonna peel my one off and I'm gonna put my tape back down. And I have got a little heart sticker ready to go. Stuck right to it, right there. Easy to do. So when you're thinking and you see them in your local scrapbook store or you're shopping online or you're shopping with us and you see artful card kits, don't let that put you off. I want to show you some layouts that we've done. Oh my gosh, they're just, all the little pieces are so beautiful. So if I didn't like this, I could take this off and that off and leave those two pieces and put that on and then put this one in the middle and pop that up. I mean, can you see how many different things I could, I mean, I could just have, I could just have a heyday. <laughs> you really can get so creative. But I wanna show you some scrapbooking samples really quick and then I'm gonna show you some card samples. So let's pull up. These are Mary Lynn's scrapbooking samples. Well, in a lot of the cards, gosh, I can't remember who all made the cards. And I'm hoping the, that I can hold it back far enough that you can see. This is a 12 by 12 page. We took a black piece of 12 by 12 paper and then used everything else from the Artful Card Kit with the exception of some ribbon. All of the little embellishments, all the matting, all the die cuts all came out of the Artful Card Kit. Is that cute? And you can see where she's used the stickles to add just a little bit of bling. Hopefully that's blingy. But there you go. There is a layout page using what is thought to be a card kit. You've got room for four pictures. I'm not so big. I hope this doesn't offend anybody, but I know they're beautiful when you have just one picture and then a lot of stuff you're, you know, just, and maybe for an opening of a book, that would be good for me. But I want, I have so many pictures. I would never know how to just pick one. <laughs> I want to see them all. <laughs> so I like when you can get more than one picture on a page. So that's one of her layouts. And then we have where she actually put some pictures in we have another layout where she's got one, two, three, four, five pictures all on the page and it says life's a journey. All done with the Artful Card Kit. Again, we started with just a 12 by 12 solid piece of cardstock on the back and then everything else came from that kit. Fabulous, isn't it? It all coordinates so they make it so easy for you. It's just wonderful. All right, now 
They have a couple, well, they have a lot of different kits. The one we've used today is Ooh La La, and another new one is Butterfly Garden. And that's what I've got most of the samples of, is Butterfly Garden and Ooh La La. But they want, they, I want to say they have another dozen sets. Um, they have Lemonade Stand, and it's very cute. The cards are summery. Oh, I hate that glare. I'm so sorry. The cards are summery, and they're fun, and they would make a great scrapbooking layouts because of the fun colors. They've got warm colors. This one is cider and it's got more earth tones to it. And again, hot off the press always gives you samples of things to do. You just turn it around. They show you what comes in the kit. They give you sample ideas that you can either scrap look scrap lift from or you can take it some elements of it and make it your own. Confetti cake for birthdays. How much fun is that? Just adorable. And yes, all of the Artful Card kits will be on sale. Let me show you some samples of Ooh La La. And then I will show you some samples of uh, the butterfly. So we've got here. How cute are these? I'm thinking that live, love, and laugh got stuck on there from something else. I'm thinking so. I'm thinking that live, love, and laugh is not supposed to be on there. Hmm. Look at that. Cute, huh? Oh, I hear UPS out there a minute. Carlos, shush! Look at how cute. And here's one where we didn't use much of the background at all. We left the card almost all white and just used that strip of the border paper and embellished it. This is where you can get those 15 cards where you don't use a whole face. You just use elements. And here. And then I want to show you some, oh, do I have any more? Oh, I have two more left of Ooh La La. Isn't that cute? Even this comes with it. Isn't that darling? And then just because Okay, now we have samples using the butterfly gardens. Oh, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, that looks like a $5 card to me. And when you make them, you make so many. Who does not want to receive this? It all came from the kit with the exception of the little bow and the little bling and some stickles. Best wishes all from the card kit. I have a lot of samples. Sorry, guys. But they're so pretty, I can't not show them. Really just beautiful. Again, leaving white. You can leave white on your cards. It's okay. You can leave some empty space. Now, some of these are the exact cards that they showed right on the packaging. And Mary Lynn, I know Mary Lynn copied them, <laughs> the cards right off the packaging. She said, why mess with a good thing? And then I think Yvette put some together, and we just had a good time. Everybody was having fun putting these cards together. Just beautiful. So card samples, layouts, it all can be done with the Artful Card Kit. Get some of your stickles out if you don't have them. They're relatively inexpensive. They're $2.19. Yes, they'll be on a YouTube Yummy. Glossy accents if you have it, grab that. Same thing as, um, gosh, what is that? Um, it's not called glossy accents. It's crystal ice or it's very, very similar. That will do the same thing. It will give that epoxied look to it. If you don't have a Xyron machine and you want to start with the sticker maker, I think you'll be really, really happy with it, especially when doing things that are already die cut for you, where you're just punching them out and now you need to adhere them somehow 
This is the easy way to do it. The one and a half inch is, it's only going to let you do things that are one and a half inch long, but on those small die cuts, it really makes life easy. Now, if you already, remember, if you have the die, then we use Sukwank tape. That's a whole nother YouTube. But, um, but for simple and fast, this is a great little tool, and it does come in permanent and repositionables for the adhesive for those of you who can't commit. <laughs> and the candy fix-its. We love the candy fix-its because you get so much for pop dots that will go under the smaller things. You can always add more if you've got a larger piece, but when you're dealing with something small and all you've got is a big pop dot, you either have to cut it in half or try and make it work. These work great for the buck 99. So, oh my goodness, folks, I think that's it for today. I really wanted to keep it kind of simple so that, um, so that we could show you what you can do without a whole lot. Um, the last YouTube was quite in depth, so I thought I'd try and take it a step back a little bit and keep it fun and light and simple, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Now, where are you gonna get all these products? Well, I'm gonna tilt up, and I'm gonna tell you, hey everybody, it's me, Stacy. Where are you gonna get all of these great products? Well, you're gonna go online. You're gonna go to www, the word shop, the word at sms.com. Shop at sms.com. So, S-H-O-P-A-T-S-M-S dot com and you will see all of these products on a YouTube Yummy! Woo! And if you're there and you still see that Xyron Spellbinder die bundle for $29.99, add that to your cart too because you're not going to want to miss that deal. So next week, gosh, I don't know what I have for you next week, but I know it's going to be fabulous. And I want to thank everybody for joining me and for coming to CHA with me. All those posts, all those comments, it was overwhelming. Thank you so much. The manufacturers, thank you. They appreciate the fact that you, good or bad, commented on their product because they don't always hear the good and the bad. They, you know, they don't get a lot of feedback. So your feedback was awesome. And I guess I'm out for the day. I'll see you next week, okay? Bye.